For the record, I am 36 years old. I am a grown up woman. I'm married. I am a mother. I own a house. I run a business. Yet, when my mom comes to my house, she always finds something that I'm not doing properly when it comes to cleaning. Case in point, I'm standing beside my washing machine and dryer, and the other day she was over helping me with something and pointed out that I had not cleaned my washing machine filter ever. And that really surprised me because I thought I knew everything about cleaning my washer and dryer. However, leave it to mom to tell me that I forgot to do something. So in this video, I am gonna show you how to deep clean your washing machine like you've never done it before. And I'm gonna do the same thing for your dryer. And you guys have my mom to thank for this one because she wrote the entire video. Before we take a deep dive into the deep clean, I'm gonna tell you guys that we are having a flash sale. It is for three days over at makersclean.com. I'll put links in the description box down below for you. You do not need a coupon code. We've got 30, that's three with a zero on the end of it, percent off our small space kits, one of our most popular SKUs. And then we've got some other sales on some other items so you guys can click that link and check it out. We have made a few in-depth cleaning videos on taking care of your washer and dryer. I will link those for you down below. I'm not gonna repeat a lot of the stuff in this video because you can see it in the last one. I wanna get into some of the new stuff that I wanna share with you. However, there are a few things I'm gonna go over with you just from a general maintenance standpoint. One of the biggest complaints that people have about their washer is that it smells. And a great way to make sure that your machine isn't going to smell is to simply leave your door open after each use. This is going to prevent moisture from being trapped inside your machine, which leads to mold and mildew growing in there because it is a damp, dark environment with old soap that it can kind of eat and flourish on. So just by leaving your door open and for bonus points, taking a cloth and wiping out the gasket, both the exterior and the interior after each use, that will prevent odors from forming. If you're noticing that there are issues with your clothes in terms of them not looking clean or there's a smell that you just can't get rid of, it might be an issue of your soap dispenser or that you're using too much detergent in your load. What you have to do on a fairly regular basis, and again, we cover this in another video, is clean out the little trays where you pour your soap, your fabric softener, and your bleach if you use it. You've gotta clean that out every now and then. A lot of business can grow under there over time. Again, it's a damp, dark environment. It's got old soap in there. It's a really good place for smelly things to happen. So you wanna make sure you're cleaning that. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is that you're using the effective dose, the appropriate dose of laundry detergent to clean the amount of clothes that you're putting in per load. A lot of us feel like use a lot of soap, your stuff will get cleaner. Well, in fact, if you use too much soap, it'll either stay behind in this tray, leading to the issue I just talked about, or if it happens to get through into the drum, your clothes won't actually rinse out clean. There will be a deposit left behind that leads to dinginess. So particularly with your whites, they won't come out looking as clean. It's really important to make sure that you're using the right amount of laundry detergent in order to get the best possible wash. Just like anything else in your home, these appliances need TLC on a regular basis in order to work well. One of the things that a lot of appliance companies have been doing is including something like a tub clean cycle. So that way, anytime you want to, if you feel like your machine hasn't been cleaned in a while or you did a particularly gross load in there, you can simply run one of these cycles and that will clean your machine, allowing it to clean your clothes properly. Now, you might not need a tablet to do this, or you might, and if you do need a tablet, you can pick those up at the grocery store and just run the hottest possible cycle you can with no clothing in the machine. Now, how frequently you should do this depends on how frequently you're doing laundry. You'll notice when your machine gets a little bit smelly or you see some dirt in there, that is probably a great indication for you to do one of these cycles. Even after you've done all the things that we've just talked about and you notice that your clothes still aren't coming out quite clean, there's some lint left behind or they just don't look good and there's a smell emanating from your machine and you can't quite figure out why, this is where my mom comes in. It's probably got to do with your pump filter. I didn't know it existed. You probably didn't know it existed. 
and now we do. So I'm gonna show you how to clean it. And the question will come up certainly about frequency and how often you should clean it. Well, my machine is working perfectly fine. I haven't cleaned mine once since I've had the machine, but that doesn't mean that's the right thing to do. I am going to start doing this probably twice a year and I will see if I have to do it more frequently. Depending on how much laundry you do, you can either lever it up or lever it down. Either way, now, after watching this, you'll know how to do it. Step one is to find where this thing is located. And once you've done that, there's a hose. So you're going to pull that out and then loosen the plug and make sure you have a bucket because this thing is gonna drain. Guys, I got over a liter of water draining out of this thing. It took a while. Then screw it back on and put the hose back. There's a little clip, you can put it right there. This was an obligatory kind of fun shot that we had to just do and show you. Now you'll unscrew that filter. Mine doesn't look terrible, but there certainly was that little line of scum, which was revolting, and a big chunk of dust. So I used a cleaning toothbrush. I didn't even use dish soap here, and I just gently brushed out all of that schmutz. Tap it off and then stick it back in. It's pretty easy to do. It took me less than three minutes to get this done. We all know we're supposed to clean the lint traps in our dryer, and that's about the size of dryer maintenance. It does go a little further than that though, and I'm gonna to explain to you why it is so important to clean out that lint. And again, I've got the dryer cleaning videos linked down below for you, so I'm not gonna to get too far into detail about this, but I do wanna give a reminder, because also it's a little bit of a PSA. Now, if you don't clean out that lint trap, over time, lint will build up, and that can become a fire hazard. This is what comes out of a lint trap, this builds up, and by the way, people use this to start fires. So yes, little spark here and there, that will ignite and you will have a dryer fire, so no fun. However, your dryer lint trap isn't the only thing that needs to be cleaned, but the little housing where that lint trap sits is another area that needs to be cleaned. And in fact, Lucas, who's standing right behind the camera right now, reminded me, because he lives in a condo, that condos vent up to an area in the ceiling with another lint trap and that too needs to be clean. So if you're in a building, make sure you check above where your machine is venting to see if there's an extra lint trap. It might seem really unimportant, but that little slot where your lint trap goes, that can build up lint over time as well. So that's sort of the hidden secret underbelly where all the lint lives that you don't really wanna think about. Now, if your lint trap doesn't go fully in, that's because there's a bit of a buildup or if it kind of jams on its way in and out, that also means that you have to check for buildup. Now, if the lint trap isn't working properly, your clothes aren't going to dry as efficiently as they should, that's probably a good indication that your filter and filter housing needs to be cleaned. And of course, what you need is this. It's also how an elephant puts on mascara. The exterior of your washing machine and dryer needs a little bit of TLC as well. On your washing machine specifically, you can get a lot of powder and product buildup. I've certainly spilled soap and that gets cakey and gross. And on your dryer, there's a lot of dust. Every time I clean out the lint trap, dust ends up settling on the machine. Quick solution for those two, a microfiber cloth and a little bit of all-purpose cleaner. That will take care of any of the detergent or powder on your washer and of course it'll pick up the dust like a charm on your dryer. And just a quick reminder, we are having that sale over at makersclean.com. I've got links for you in the description box down below. And that brings me to this week's comment question, which is, what are your biggest laundry conundrums? Let us know in the comments down below. Is it crispy, crunchy towels that you can never seem to get soft or smelly laundry that just doesn't seem to ever improve, whether it's a weird stain or anything in between, let us know. We've got a big old laundry to-do list and we are gonna add your questions to our list because we wanna start making even more laundry videos. And I do wanna tell you guys, on the topic of laundry videos, this is the last one we are gonna be filming in this laundry room because in two weeks, Chad and I move out of this CMS HQ into the new one, that's our home. We're moving into a new house where we have a brand new laundry room. This one used to be a hole in the wall. For those of you who've been around for a while, you remember it was a scary unfinished space and now it's this. 
and we can't wait to do the same thing to our new home, which has a nice laundry room, but we'll have an even better one by the time Chad and I are done with it. Here are a couple of other videos I think you're going to love, and if you wanna learn about our Makers Clean Microfiber Cloths, you can click this button right over here. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video, and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.